Well, I'm now joined by Tim Montgomery, a Conservative activist who has said he's embarrassed to have ever backed Boris Johnson for high office following the Prime Minister's support for Dominic Cummings, and Alistair Campbell, who served as Director of Communications for Prime Minister Tony Blair. We have contacted many people who expressed support for Dominic Cummings in the last few days, but none of them wanted to come on the programme tonight. Tim Montgomery, first, what are the consequences of Dominic Cummings remaining in post, in your view? I think the danger for the Conservative Party, uh, Cathy, is that the message upon which the party was elected last December, and which I had such high hopes for as a supporter of Boris and the Conservative Party, the idea that this was a different Conservative Party that was going to govern for all those red wall seats that gave uh, Boris Johnson his majority. That's in danger, because just, you know, one of the clips that you just played, the lady that said, we're all in this together, that's an incredibly important sense of solidarity for a government to possess, particularly during a pandemic, when the authority of government messaging is so important. Well, and this affair is putting that at risk. Alistair Campbell, do you agree with that? I do, and I, and I think that the country would be more forgiving, possibly, of Dominic Cummings, even though he's clearly broken the... The, the, the guidelines, and he's, I think, lied at several points. And if he hasn't, the Prime Minister has, because their stories don't add up, and his wife's story doesn't add up. All these inconsistencies. All of which they and, deny, by the way. Well, they, they can't, because, you know, I know you have to do that, Cathy, but they can't. Uh, but I think the worst thing is, that, so they'd have that, they probably would have that sympathy if they felt the government was on top of the crisis. But we now have had as many deaths as I think we're getting close to 40 other European countries. We, have, we are now right up in the top of the infection and deaths league table in the world. Boris Johnson, he failed in phase one because of his indifference and because of his incompetence. And actually, I think they're now driving the easing of the lockdown, not according to the science, but according to try and get Dominic Cummings out of the news. Well, there's one way you can get Dominic Cummings out of the news a little bit, and that's to do the right thing. Well, Tim Montgomery, why do you think Boris Johnson appears to be fearful of sacking him? I think it's um, it's true that the uh, the two of them um, were at the heart of the Brexit referendum together. You know, we did not expect, as Brexit supporters like myself, to win that referendum. There was something very special in that campaign that Boris Johnson was obviously impressed with. And then, if you remember, a year ago, the Tory party was in some opinion polls in single digits ahead of the European elections. The fact that the Conservatives came back and won the December election was partly because of the genius of Dominic Cummings. I think he is a genius in lots of political ways. He just shouldn't be in charge. And unfortunately, what Boris Johnson has allowed ha to happen is for his Downing Street machine to be dominated by one person and surrounded himself with yes-men. And in a crisis of the kind that we're experiencing at the moment, you need a diverse range of differing views. You need all of your talents. And at the moment, whether it's in the Downing Street machine or in Cabinet, uh, they, uh, uh, Boris Johnson does not have the best people alongside him. So would the government collapse without him, Tim Montgomery? No, of course not. You know, there's someone like Isaac Levido um, in Downing Street now, a brilliant man who has masterminded the campaigns down under and here. He's a brilliant political strategist. There are plenty of talents in the Conservative Party that could serve uh, Boris Johnson with integrity and with effectiveness. And there are people like um, Jeremy Hunt, uh, Sajid Javid, I would say Theresa May, who should be in the cabinet at the moment at a time of national crisis. And the fact is there are too many um, inexperienced ministers at the top table when the challenges demand that you have your best people in, the, in, in your top team. Alistair Campbell, Tony Blair faced repeated calls to sack you in the controversy over the Iraq dossier, and he resisted it. Isn't Boris Johnson entitled to resist getting rid of his top aide? I don't, I don't agree with any comparison there at all, um, because I never, ever would have put Tony Blair in the position that, uh, that uh, Dominic Cummings has with Boris Johnson. I would never, ever do anything in defiance of the law or of government policy. There were lots of things happened in my time in working with Tony Blair that I wasn't 100% on board for. But my job was to work for the Prime Minister. I think what you have in this extraordinary relationship is Boris Johnson, who I've known for a very long time, intellectually lazy, very vain, loves to be liked, doesn't work very hard, and Dominic Cummings, who does have his own agenda. I never had my own agenda. 
I wanted Labour to win. I wanted Labour to be a good government. That was it. The politicians then did the job. And if you have, I thought the optics yesterday of an unelected advisor, which I was, yes, I had a very high profile, but I didn't go around looking for it. I was given it, if you like, by the way that I was treated by the press. I'm not complaining about that. It went with the territory. Dominic Cummings giving a press conference in the garden at number 10, and then the prime minister goes on after us. Well, I don't need to deal with that because Dominic's dealt with that. I mean, if they got any idea, Kathy, I've been doing interviews today with people all over the world. This kind, this this story is being covered all around the world, and we are a laughing stock. We are a joke in the world. And as I say, it wouldn't be that serious if it wasn't that we're also one of the worst performing countries in dealing with the crisis. Tim Montgomery. Well, I think that point that Alistair, I hate agreeing with Alistair Campbell, it'll do my credibility no good at all. But um, the problem is, is that governments can cope with dislike, they can cope with disdain. But when you become a laughing stock, and that's what this government is in danger of becoming at the moment, it's very hard to recover from that. And that's why someone who so wants the Brexit project, so wants this government to succeed, the longer this crisis drags out, and it clearly is a crisis, the more those things that I believe in are endangered. And I just wish he would resign for the sake of his prime minister and for the sake of the Conservative government. Very briefly, Tim Montgomery, Dominic Cummings blamed the media for uh, stoking public anger against him. Is this a media bubble story that will just fizzle out? Very briefly. Not at all. And um, every Tory MP I've spoken to in the last few days, their post bag is enormous. This is an issue that's absolutely cut through with the people.